Hey guys, if you're thinking about getting molested by an engineering degree, you're probably in shambles as to which OS to use. And the choice isn't a simple one, but let's take a look and see what we can figure out. Let's start by looking at the most commonly used devices at unis. Macs are everywhere and offer all the usual benefits we all know about, but I can tell you now that no one in my mechanical engineering degree used one for the entire time, or at least no one used one running OS X the entire time. Every single student with a Mac either ran a Windows VM or partitioned the drive and booted into Windows. And the reasons are this. Macs do some things well, but the software isn't always, well, the most usable. Yes, you can get Word, AutoCAD, and nearly all the programs you can get on Windows on a Mac, but the experience is not always the same. I mean, maybe the Mac version looks nicer or is more white or something, but when you're in a lecture and trying to keep up with what the lecturer is doing, you don't want to spend the entire time trying to figure out how to access an option hidden in a toolbar and which is immediately available to people running Windows. And buying a Mac just for the hardware is fine if you can afford it, but otherwise it's damn stupid. If you're expecting to do solid modeling, general CAD work, simulations, basic programming, it's probably a poor choice. Windows machines are cheaper, better equipped, and the software is a bit easier, and you shouldn't have any compatibility problems. Using a Windows machine will also prepare you for your future career, because many companies use proprietary software which only runs on Windows. However, there are two exceptions to this. Firstly, if you're doing software engineering, you may be required to use a Unix-based OS, so you either need a Windows machine running a VM or a Mac. And the second exception is this. If you have convenient access to your university's computers, and they have all the programs you need installed, then buy whatever the hell you think looks cool and that can run Word because realistically you could get away with using nothing but the university's computers without a laptop, but having something that can run Word will mean that you can do reports at home. Honestly, most of the time you'll be using MS Word, so getting a cheap and light laptop is really all you need, as long as you can do the more demanding things on your university's computers. At my university, Linux was used exclusively by the software guys and a few final year civil engineering students who needed it for flood simulations. That was it. And the reason was that you will run into countless frustrations and compatibility issues because none of the typical lecturers use it, can help you with it, and very few of the engineering programs are compatible with it, and if they are, you get these fucking weird versions that have barely been updated since the program was written 10 years ago and which might be more powerful, but what the fuck good is that if you have to become Mr. Robot just to save a file? Alright, so unless you're a black hat hacker wizard, do not try and use it as your main OS because you're going to have a bad time. Oh yeah, uh, the, the nuance are good for some Google Docs word stuff.